Dynasty of all time, the 70s Steelers. Well, you want to talk about that 70s Dynasty? Man, you sit up. You get respect. <laughs> you pay homage. The blue-collar mentality. Tough defense. Pounding the football. Wrong. You look at every single position group up and down, and there's just greatness. That was just the perfect storm of a team. There are 27 teams in pro football. And then there are the Pittsburgh Steelers. Building that thing from what it was, I mean, it was awful. People forget the Steelers were awful. Years of frustration ended with the arrival of head coach Chuck Knoll and some divine intervention. Fires it downfield. The play jump-started the number two dynasty of all time as the Steelers hoisted the Lombardi Trophy four times in six years. One. The Pittsburgh Steelers are the champions of the National Football League for the fourth time. To me, the greatest defense of all time is the Steel Carton. I mean, come on. Uh, they were the best. Players like Mean Joe Green and Jack Ham and Jack Lambert. That a cool your ass off. They absolutely demoralized opponents before they took the field against them. You knew you weren't going to have offensive success that day. I'm going to hit it hard and you can air show you can outside because I'm coming, I'm hitting that, I'm hitting it like a... You weren't getting past them. And if you did, you were limping away from that fight. <laughs> they were going to make you pay for every yard that you earned. I think on the off days they used to eat rocks and cement and bricks and stuff like that. And you spin your teeth out and rocks, nobody can score on you. So I mean Joe Green come up when he was a scout for Pittsburgh on the second floor, walked to his office, step to the side, let the man walk through. <laughs> like that's the kind of present them boys had and still do to this day. In 1978, Terry Bradshaw was football's most prolific passer. They won different ways. It wasn't the same formula. In 74 and 75, it was defense and the run game with Terry Bradshaw as a complementary piece. In 78 and 79, it was a wide open pass game. Here is Bradshaw giving the ball to Blyer. Blyer reverses it to Swan. He gives it back to Bradshaw. Bradshaw firing for Cunningham. A Pittsburgh touchdown. How about that? It became more about Terry Bradshaw and throwing the ball down the field and Lynch Swan and John Stallworth. Let's open it up. There he is, Terry! Bradshaw's back deep. Good protection. Going deep for Swan. There's Swan to catch it for the touchdown. We get on fire. We get confident. We get that fever. And we're hard to play. We're hard to... I'd hate to have to play against us. We got the best offense, the best defense, and we got the terrible time. Not even the terrible towel could push Pittsburgh into the top spot on our list. 70 Steelers, I think, probably are, it seems crazy to say it, but a little high. How dare you put any name? I don't, I don't even want to hear any more about it. I don't want to hear who you have at number one. They were great basically for six years, and they maxed out. I mean, they won four Super Bowls. Hard to come up with a scenario in which the Steelers would win more than the four that they won. Look at the list that you've put together here. You have the 70s Raiders, the 70s Cowboys, the 70s Dolphins. Who stood head and shoulders above them all in the most titanic era of pro football? Dave, I think you're totally irrational on this. 70 Steelers had a six-year run. Six years is just not enough. 